You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karch, joined now by Ron Victor. He's the founder and CEO of IOTM, an Internet of Things network infrastructure company providing a secure, intelligent, and flexible architecture for all Internet of Things verticals. You're taking companies and putting on this adaptive plug. That's correct. It's kind of revolutionary to think that we can actually use old technologies, put this adaptive plug on them, and then make them 21st century compatible. Where did that idea come from? I did about four years of industrial IoT before I started IoTM. So I was working on aluminum smelters, copper refineries, and zinc refineries. So I was working in very remote areas, building an entire stack, right from the sensor to the gateway to the cloud to the analytics, to be able to provide energy efficiency into those uh, verticals. That's when I realized that it was not just that those verticals had a problem, every single industrial IoT vertical, which has a legacy machine of any sort that has a proprietary protocol, to be able to connect that securely to an application that resides either in a public, private, or hybrid cloud would be an extreme dilemma for most people. That gave birth to the idea for IoTM, which basically is a horizontal network infrastructure which is completely secure to be able to connect legacy brownfield machines, etc., that were never meant to be connected to the internet and make them safely be transported, make the data be safely transported to applications in public, private, and hybrid clouds. How does that technology sync up? Well, the thing is, when I, what I'm dealing with is billions of dollars worth of machinery. I'm dealing with oil rigs, I'm dealing right. with uh, factories, power plants, refineries. Nobody's going to rip and replace their old machines just because the new one is internet capable. They'll keep to their old stuff. Absolutely, there's old stuff, there's old protocols, there's old methods of doing business. All you have to do is seamlessly come in and completely say, whatever you're doing, continue to do. And I will still, without you have, ever having to call an IT guy to make this change, open up a firewall, give, put a username, add a router, all that goes away. Where you can go in and tell the operations guy, the guy walking the floor, don't worry, I can securely connect this. Whatever your CEO is saying, he wants to digitize the world, he wants to digitize the factory, I'll be able to do it for you very seamlessly. You don't have to change anything that you're doing today. We have our big rig, right? How are you connecting a big rig that doesn't really have that much technology involved with it, except for some mechanisms, and how are you making that cloud compatible? What happens in big rigs, in large machines, in, in oil rigs, etc.? What you have always done is you have sent a technician who connects a piece of equipment to a port. He would either connect his laptop or if you go to you take your car to a service center, he'll take a little machine, plug it into an OBD port, he'll get some readings and say, ah, your carburetor is not working well or something. Or if you go to a, a robot, the robot manufacturer will send a tech who will take some device, plug it into a port. All we have done is we use the exact same port, but instead of now sending a body out every time to find out what's going on, we drop in a piece of hardware there, which is running our software. We're not a hardware company. This is a, any third party hardware that's available in the market that runs our software. Suddenly by plugging that machine, that, that box into that same port, this, our software will enable complete secure connectivity of that data on a 7 by 24 basis. So your tech can now be sitting in Houston on a big screen and monitoring rigs all over North America without ever having to get to the rig with his or her piece of equipment to plug in. How do you convert industries that are kind of reclusive and, and, and don't really want to move to the Internet of Things? Everything is based on value. You either show them how to make more money or how to save more money, and that's it. Nobody's going to, just because there's cool technology, nobody's going to adopt it. What exactly. That? What has to happen is, if what we've seen in most of the industry, we're very strong in building automation, we're very strong in locomotives, in oil and gas, and now into smart city. And what we've seen is, on average, we can save customers close to 66% of their costs. So whatever they would incur in being able to send a body out, do this manually, whatever loss they were incurring in not continuously monitoring the data on the energy efficiency, all of that is now possible because of us. And that brings their costs down by close to 50 to 60%, leaving them a lot more margin to it. And who wants to spend more on the parts Precisely. you already have? Absolutely. All right, Ron, thank you so much. Anytime, appreciate it. Thank you.